Zapier might be the most powerful marketing automation tool out there. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to problem solve errors in Zapier. Occasionally, you'll have problems where your Zap set up incorrectly or information just doesn't get sent correctly. And you're gonna get this dreaded alert email where it says your Zap has failed. And sometimes it doesn't matter to you guys because your Zaps aren't that important and a trigger might just be whatever, we can figure it out. But if you have mission critical Zaps where a customer is gonna be forgotten about or dropped, you can't afford for these to error and fail. So you need a process to make sure that they're all running correctly. So when you're logged in, this is kind of what it looks like, your dashboard. You're gonna to go to Zap History. Then you can pick a time frame here and you can pick specific Zaps or specific folders. But what I really wanna do is just look at status. So held is a common one that is a little bit easier to fix. We don't have any held. A lot of time held is because an app got disconnected. So you change your Gmail password and it was disconnected. Now to solve that, it's super easy. You'll get an email telling you what to do, but you can go to apps and then you can go into whatever the app is and check the connection or reconnect it. So here's an app. You can see that we've got connected. I can test connection here. Success. So that app's working and if it was held and that was the case, you could just reconnect it and then under your, under your history, you can just rerun it. So you'd go back to, so we don't have any held, but you would just select on, let's just click here and then you could replay. Um, that would be the same thing with the held. Now the other little bit harder ones to figure out are your errors and your halted. Halted typically is not something to worry about. It's where it stops on purpose. So it's basically a filter and it said, do not continue. Things are halted, it's stopped. Uh, the other one, the error is obviously the most important one and that's what we're gonna focus on here. So let's just get rid of halted and let's look at errors. So you can see that we have errors. The nice thing is if you have critical processes, you can go in and have someone, their whole job could be auditing these to make sure that they process. So if you're a bigger company or order management, you're doing it through the system. Uh, this is something that you might wanna have checked. So once you come in here, basically your email will take you to edit the zap or view the run, all of these different things. And, but you can do it directly through this dashboard. So I'm showing you this. Basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you every step of the way. Success obviously means that it worked for you and everything went just fine. And then you can find out where the error is. Now the cool thing with Zapier is they're using AI now to help you solve these problems as best as possible. Sometimes you need customer support because it's an error. Um, sometimes it's just reconfiguring something. But let's see, this is a very long automation. I didn't build this automation, so let's see. All right, so we're scrolling back. It doesn't look like this one's a true error. And it also aired out in the last step. So the nice thing, if it aired out in the last step, anything beforehand still triggered and still worked. So typically when we're building a zap, if we know there's something that's commonly erroring out for whatever reason or less critical, we'll put it at the very bottom because it's less likely to affect everything above it. So I can just go see more details here. Does not exist. So something doesn't exist in this code. So here we go. So the, it's saying the email did not exist. So we can figure out right here. So your two email does not exist. So here you could contact support if you need it or you can get help and I'll take you to different tutorials. There's your troubleshoot. So this is basically the new AI tool that will help you try to figure out what went wrong. Obviously, if the email's just not there, there's probably an issue with the filtering, so we'll jump back in. This does take a minute, but basically it's analyzing every step and using AI to help you make that suggestion. Okay, so to explain the issue, basically it looks like we put a phone number in the spot of where an email should go. Uh, so that's a pretty easy, so edit this step. So I'm gonna jump right into that step and hopefully it takes me exactly there. And what you're going to do is it looks like this is set up correctly. It says email, but that's what it's asking us to look for. It's email to, because this is what the error said it was. And so we know exactly where that error is now. The best way to redo this is to update the data. So let's come in here, edit existing draft. And what I'm going to do is just walk through this, but I'm going to try to skip test for the most part. I'm going to find the newest record. So what's possible is somehow the record population has changed. That's what's triggering the issue. You can see that this is the newest record. You could probably try to find that exact same record, but this was the one it got triggered today. So continue with selected, basically just following the steps will trigger everything and make sure it's all working. So I do wanna skip some tests, but the problem is if you skip stuff, then it won't necessarily populate down. And basically you're feeding the information down as if you normally would. 
So this might trigger it twice. Let's see, USA Wire, new post. Uh, and for this one, it would actually post an article. So I don't wanna do that. Let's see if I can figure out where that Excel is coming from. So it's looking up a row in Excel. So let's see if I can update this with the new information. All right, so I'm gonna just keep going through these steps and I'm gonna test them as we go to see if we can get any errors to trigger. So it should be all the way at the end, but basically I'm trying to get all the information to work exactly as it would. Okay, so it looked like that was just a fluke. Uh, the phone number was probably put into the wrong field in the Excel spreadsheet. So this zap looks okay. So to keep troubleshooting other zaps, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna come back in here and go to our zap history, and we're gonna go back into here and look for has aired out. Let's see if there's one that I've actually built before. Okay, so I helped build this post call form one. So I'm gonna come in here and figure out why it aired out. Okay, so show error now, go to error. So basically it jumped directly to where that error is and it aired out in creating a step in active campaign. So let's see what the actual issue is. Okay, so it's missing the name of the salesperson. That's what it means by the deal owner. So let's troubleshoot this and figure out why. So we, we already know it's missing the name of the deal owner. So the AI would just basically tell us to fix that. You can get support get, or you can jump in and edit. So let's go ahead and let this load. It's gonna give us instructions on what we wanna do and we're going to basically jump in and find that. So edit this step. This one is basically right here. Owner ID did not exist. So for this specific one, it's probably not actually the automation erroring out, but our spreadsheet. So let's open up. All right, so it's our spreadsheet that's actually not up to date. That's what's causing the error. You can see here that certain information was not filled out. So I need to go fix our spreadsheet. But that's how I kind of worked backwards and figured out why that was erroring out. Uh, and that's kind of how you guys will have to do it is you'll just follow each step. And obviously each step is gonna be different. There's gonna be a different reason why. Um, the easiest thing to do if you can't figure it out is basically in here, edit, and then you're going to pull in like we did in the other example, we're gonna pull in the newest data. So here's where you get your example. You'll hit continue and you'll just con keep continuing through each section till you figure out why it's airing out. For this case, we figured out that the lookup was pulling bad data, so I just need to fix that spreadsheet. If you guys need help fixing your zaps, leave a comment, send me a, a DM, and hopefully I'll be able to help you. Make sure to subscribe, thank you.